Hey guys, this is Leanne with Bowties and Coffee for your weekly DVR review. This week we're going to go over Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Doctor Who, and Walking Dead. Um, if you haven't seen one of these yet, now is your spoiler alert. I'll give you five seconds and then we'll continue. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. So, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, we have a Fitzsimmons kiss, a Fitzsimmons fight, and Hydra. So let's start with Fitz and work our way out from there. Um, Gemma and Fitz get in this huge fight because Gemma feels that Fitz is way too interested in, and willing to help her find Will. Uh, so Simmons goes off on Fitz, Fitz goes off on Simmons, and then kisses her. She kisses him, and then Fitz storms away angrily. <laughs> Leave it to them to make out and still be mad. Um, so she hits the book off the desk and lo and behold, all of a sudden, here's the Hydra symbol, which is also, when turned upside down, the ram's head from Will's NASA expedition. Whoa. Um, it turns out Hydra is an ancient alien organization and now they're funding NASA missions. Who knew? Doctor Who. Um, this week was a, a big episode for the Doctor. Uh, he lost another friend. Rest in peace, Clara. You are the first companion that they actually kill off. Um, I was quite happy to see this episode. Um, I've been waiting all season for Clara to go. Now, I know it might be the unpopular opinion, but I've never really been thrilled with Claire. Um, so now it's time for the Doctor to move on to bigger and better things, i.e. River Song. She will be gracing us with her presence during the Christmas episode, and I guarantee you she will be smart enough not to take anything from anyone thinking the Doctor's gonna save her. Um, Clara just got too confident in... The doctor's ability to persuade anyone not to kill her. Um, her world skepticism, or whatever you want to call it, is no more. Um, now she is no more, and I'm sorry if that upsets you, but like I said, I'm thrilled. I can't wait for next for Christmas. When we see River and the Doctor reunite, I'm sure Capaldi is going to do wonderfully with her, and I think that pair is going to be ecstatic. Um, but the world will know soon enough. Now, the moment we've been waiting for has happened. We finally know what happened to Glenn. Um, for those of you who aren't aware, this is the Walking Dead section of my DVR review. Um, Glenn was apparently under the dumpster the whole time. Luckily, um, he was not, he did not get eaten and he managed to weasel his way under the dumpster, waits it out, and is now on his way home safe and sound with Enid, who, besides being the surly teen, did give him water and then threatened him at gunpoint. Um, Glenn has decided to take her back to Alexandria kicking and screaming. Hopefully less the kicking and screaming than more. Um, <laughs> Carl is back at home with Spencer, who is planning on killing him. Well, that's my DVR review for this week. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, as always, comments are more than more than appreciated in the comments below, or at bowtiesandcoffee.com. Um, There's a link there that you can email all questions, comments, suggestions, and otherwise to my email address, which is bowtiesandcoffee at hotmail.com. Or you can email us at bowtiesandcoffeeblog at gmail.com. Um, if you have any suggestions on other shows you'd like to see in this review, just drop me a line and I will see about adding them to the video. Thank you and have a good night.